Hello everyone, I've got a quick tip here for you today. If you find yourself trying to move a large number of records, you might actually exceed the ability of your resources and you're going to need to find a way to break that job up into pieces. Taking a batch approach is often a good way to handle that problem and I'm going to show you a pretty quick and easy way to batch out a process using LeapFrog BI. All right, so let me jump over here to my project and just orient you real quick. Uh, I'm working on a little project which uh, collects data from the American Community Survey and pushes it into a survey fact table. And there's around 63 million records that need to go into that fact table. I'm using a little simple um, server. It's about uh, 8 gig of memory, uh, quad core, pretty old server. And it's just not going to be enough to uh, load those records into the fact table in one pass. So, if I pull up here the, the design pattern, you can see I'm using a standard design pattern. I've staged the data, consolidated using PSA. Then I have a fact source component that collects the records from PSA that have not yet been processed in that target fact table. Following that is a fact grain component. That's what verifies the granularity of my data. Then I load the data into a fact table and then we'll come back and use this update component to update those records as having been processed in PSA. Okay, so what I want to have happen here is I want to only let a certain number of records go through that process at a time, and then I want to repeatedly run those four components over and over again until I've worked my way through all 63 million um, records in my, my um, unprocessed records in PSA. So this is how I did it, it's pretty simple. First of all, first of all, I'm here in FS, fact source, and I'm going to limit the number of records that are coming into this uh, data flow. And I did that pretty simply by putting a top 1 million records in FS. So now I know that every time FS runs, it's only going to collect a million records from PSA. Good to go. Then those records will go into FG, then they'll go into the fact table, and finally those million records will be updated in PSA. But now what I need is something to reset the load status for those four records. I need them to be marked as pending again so that that whole process keeps recurring as long as I still have unprocessed records in PSA. So the way I did that, if I click over here on, P on PSA, you'll see I've added another transformation here that I'm just calling B underscore survey, which stands for batch my survey data flow. I'm going to select that component and you can see here this component's basically doing nothing. All it does is selects the, selects the top zero records from PSA. So no records are being collected. This thing just runs instantly. Um, but I also have a little piece of custom code in here. And if I look at the, at the every time script area, the, the, the script that's going to run every time this component runs, I've added a little update statement that's going to reset the job status for those four components in my batch data flow. And it's only going to do that though if that first component, FS survey, actually has a million records in it. So as long as that first component, FS, has a million records in it, this component is then going to go back and reset the load process. So that's perfect. That's what I need. But there's one more issue here and that is after that first reset, now my batch survey component is complete. I need something also to tell it to run again if the batch is is uh, going to be running again. So to do that, I'll go back over to my fact, serve, uh, uh, fact source component and I also put a little script in there that says reset that batch survey component to being pending as well. So you can see how we've kind of created a loop here. Whenever the process begins on the first run, I'm going to select this PSA so we can see the entire data flow. The first thing that's going to happen is FS is going to run and that's going to set batch survey to pending. That's fine. It could be pending. Then it's going to run through and load the facts. Then after that's complete, then my batch survey runs. It resets all this. And then the first thing that happens here in, after it completes is fact source again, resets survey. So it just keeps on resetting each other there 
until all records that are unprocessed have been worked through and they're loading into the fact table. Now, something to keep in mind here is I have to make sure that batch survey only runs after the update load status comp component completes. So I need to put that in a subsequent phase or a subsequent group from the rest of this uh, data flow. And all I did was I put it in a subsequent group. So I have here uh, in my precedent settings, here's my four components that I'm batching. They're all in phase 30 group 10. I just put my batch reset or my batch survey component in group 20 to make sure that it ran after that batch is complete. With all that done, I just queue to build, deploy the build, and now I've got a process that's running over and over again. I'll show you this uh, fact survey um, uh, uh, component history, and you'll see that it's just continually running over and over again until it processes all the records that had been not that had not yet processed in PSA. There we go. We can see the load times are increasing, the lapse times are increasing as my target, my fact table be, gets to where it has more and more records. That makes sense. But if we look at the load count, we see every time this thing's run, it's loaded a million records. It's going to continue to do that until all records are processed and then the batching is going to be complete. Okay, I hope this helps. Uh, it's a real quick tip. If you run into a situation where your resources aren't quite um, hefty enough to handle the amount of data you're trying to move, then consider using a batch approach. You can do it without using any, uh, writing any uh, uh, custom packages or anything like that. Just add a little custom script to your components to control the load process and batch it out so that you can get the most out of the resources you do have and still accomplish your goal.